Today, our story is based in Montreal, Canada. And we have an individual going by the name of Son of Satan. Son of Satan is an individual who believes himself to have a divine calling. But this divine calling comes from the left-hand path. This individual was an avid follower of a well-known spiritualist at the time. And this individual, he followed this well-known spiritualist faithfully. Unfortunately, this savior, this leader, that this son of Satan believed in, took a fall at one point. And out of nowhere, there was this individual making noise on social media about how he is a Christian and he is an abbot devotee of Jesus Christ. But the only downside of this individual was that he was mocking the savior of Son of Satan. Well, Son of Satan was very pissed. It didn't sit well from one bit. So son of Satan decides to go on social media and slander and speak evil on the name of this Christian. Now, this son of Satan antagonized this Christian antagonized him for weeks, for days, for months, even made a whole, how could I say this? But let's just say he did the most. He extended his gratitude. <laughs> What happened was this Christian, this faithful servant of Jesus Christ, publicly made statements that he would pray for this son of Satan, that he finds the light of God. So, this Christian goes into withdrawal, doesn't make any commentary on son of Satan for a while. One day, son of Satan gets up and in rage, he starts making videos, making videos. From here, something begins to become off about this son of Satan. So one day, son of Satan speaks on the internet about how he was vicious, someone close to him was viciously attacked. And not only that, he also stated that the plumbing in his house started going bad and that he was having problems. As Christians do, this Christian responded to the issues that were transpiring. But he responded in a joking manner. As time went on, the devotee of Jesus withdrew, withdrew his presence from the internet for a bit. Time goes on. Son of Satan begins to get irate. He begins to get irate on the social media. Almost as if he was going through an episode of mania. What he stated eventually was that he was a schizophrenic and that this supposed Satan, God of his, was no longer coming through him ever again. Time goes on. Time goes on. 
we see this son of Satan gets on the internet and he begins to belligerently speak, cursing everyone, threatening everyone that he was going to commit acts of murder. So what happens is that as he was doing a video, which was actually live, his sister gets on a call and she calls him while he was active on social media. And she stated that she would call law enforcement to have him removed from the house. Due to his disorder, the police came to the home where Son of Satan was located and they escorted him to the mental health hospital. Son of Satan was okay for the first couple of days of being admitted. And what we begin to see is a depression settling in on Son of Satan because of his breakup, because not only in his tirades and his rants, he also threatened to harm the woman that he allegedly loved. She left him. He was all alone. His body filled with intoxicating drugs to manage his schizophrenia. He was just left all alone in a hospital by himself, taking medications, a stranger to those in the facility. No friends, no family. The moral of the story is this. Don't play with Christians. 